good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. You know, it's Coach 1241 this morning. We're going to look at pre-owned Marathon Coach 1241, a beautiful 2000, I believe it's a 16 quad slide. I had this open earlier to basically show you. And uh, for many of you who know, the storage in an H3 from Marathon is phenomenal. Great storage and entertainment bay. But you know what, when you close all the doors, look at this paint job. And just for the sake of being able to show you a little bit more, I'm gonna bring this TV in. Nothing like an entertainment bay with a big TV. You pull the awnings out. You got ground lights, you got awning lights. It looks great at night. But take a look at that paint. Isn't that beautiful? Well, let's head on inside. Now, this is uh, this coach is for sale. So if you're interested, you know how to get a hold of me, Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. Uh, I've been wanting to show this coach for a, a, a couple of weeks, so I'm glad we get the chance to do it this morning. And uh, hope everyone had a good weekend. All right, let's take a look. First thing I'm going to show you. Robert Joyce asking if we have to turn the TV off before closing the bay doors. We don't have to. You can turn the entire bay off. I'm going to pass this back to Todd. So this is Coach 1241. Uh, if you're in the market for a uh, late model, pre-owned Marathon, it gets no better than this. Right now, Marathon's got some beautiful pre-owned quads, and this is one of them. Take a look at this sofa. This is, uh, look at how beautiful that is, the quilting up front here. This is great style, and this is going to be the most comfortable uh, couch you can get in a salon. This is actually a pull-out couch. That's why it looks a little bit taller, because pull-outs have more of a, a sleeping mattress on the inside. Take a look at the um, electric fireplace here. It puts out great heat and good ambiance. Uh, one of the things that I've mentioned before on Marathon Mondays is you turn off all the lights, you turn uh, on the um, fireplace, and it really creates the mood in the salon of the coach. And I, I love the tile work and how this was set up in 1241. And since we're talking about tile work, look at the inlays in the floor. Isn't that pretty? It's all done by hand. You got real hard wood and then real stone tile work in the salon. It's a nice cream color and it matches extremely well with the upholstery in this coach. You got the two chairs over here on the curbside. The L-shaped dinette. Balances are backlit. It's just really beautifully done. And let's not miss the cockpit here. Two-tone seating. The wood tone on the handles and the bars leading up. It's just really, really well done. I see Murray Selesky is watching. Murray, hello to you and Natalie. Hope everything is well with your coach. If you look in here, here's the coffee table book that our marketing team put together when 1241 was originally um, produced in 2016. It's a nice piece of, of marketing and you're able to show your friends take it along with you or just have it in the coach. And there's a good exterior shot that our marketing team worked on. So, so uh, right here in the galley, you've got a good split galley over here on the curbside and then a sub-zero refrigerator. Sorry, Todd, I probably went a little too fast for you to see that side, but I was a little excited about the Sub-Zero <laughs> fridge, refrigerator, and freezer. Ice maker is in the bottom. 
couple questions for you. Talk to um, me, Todd. Somebody asked about the miles. I don't know if we can... Abs absolutely. Email me if you're interested in the miles. MalW at MarathonCoach.com. I can send you some details on that. And also we can talk about price. And we've got one. Uh, what is the normal length of your couches when closed? Can a six-foot individual stretch out on them? That's a good question. Someone, and watch TV. Someone's uh, referring to the couch. Uh, it is going to be able to fit someone who's well over six feet um, from the height of bed. The height of bed is a little bit different than the jackknife. The height of bed actually comes out into the into the salon where the jackknife just jackknives up and down. So. Uh, and it, it's definitely sleepable for, and it, is sleepable a word? If it isn't, I just made it so. It's sleepable for an adult. Let's put it that way. Good storage throughout. You've got pantry storage on both sides, up here and below, and right here and below. All right. So let's head into here and take a look at the water closet. Great features in the water closet. Take a look at that sink. Isn't that pretty? The backsplash, just really well done. You also have a TV monitor in here. I see that there's some people watching from France and from Israel. I see your comments on there. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Marathon Mondays. All right. Todd, I'm going to switch sides with you here because I want everyone to see this. One thing I really like about the way that this was designed by our engineering team is you walk into here and you hit a little bit of a narrow spot, but you see how it, it's angled this way. So you've got more room in here to be able to access the refrigerator, be able to access pantries. You've got the sinks on this side, then it goes to a narrower spot and then it half moons here to provide more space to create more room to make you not feel so closed in. And that's engineering. That's what Marathon does uh, extremely well. Now, let's take a look at this walk-in. It's not a walk-in closet, but it's extremely functional. You've got uh, hanging storage here for like hung shirts. And then you've got four shelves at the bottom, all wrapped in that engineered leather very cleanable, keeps the dust off of your clothing or your shoes or whatever you're going to put in there. And then the other side, if I can open this all the way and Todd can look in here, basically you've got a washer-dryer combo on the bottom and then more storage or uh, shirt closet up top. It's just really good utilization of space. And for those of you who haven't uh, had the uh, washer-dryer combo, it it's really good for saving space. If you don't want to take up a whole closet with a washer dryer, you've got one unit that does both. So talk about storage. Three closets in the bedroom of Coach 1241. First one being right here. Got a couple of drawers down here. Another closet here with an identical one right behind Todd. I'll just give you a peek inside here with a button, a, a button bolt drawer opener there. And you still have space. If you look down here, you still have room right here for your nightstands. And both sides have the nightstands so that you can store, hey, I don't know, your phone, book. Look how far out that comes. You can fit a lot of items that you need right by your bedside in here. Of course, there's storage above. And I really like how this was, I believe, and I, I don't want to tell tales out of school, but I think this was an Al Christensen uh, design coach back in 2016. I uh, could be wrong. If Brenda's watching, she'll probably enlighten us, but I saw some elephants, if you know what I mean, up in the salon. Uh, the bench. The bench and a quad, I love this because it gives you the opportunity. Now, there's not storage underneath because you've got the mechanisms for the chassis underneath. However, look at all the storage back here with the drawers, several drawers and cabinets back here. But you also have a spot where you can either uh, sit and put your clothes on, set your clothes out for the next morning, 
uh, put your shoes on, take your shoes off. Uh, fantastic. Look at that. Great, great uh, integration of the TV here. Butch Pfeiffer says it looks like a hotel suite. Absolutely. Butch, you're right. Butch says it looks like a, a, a suite in a, in a hotel, and it really does, and that's the way. I mean, suites are designed to give you uh, the comforts of home when you, when you are in a luxury hotel. You want that, and the same thing goes with a luxury marathon coach. Let me ask a quick question for you. John Krauss asks, is the washer-dryer combo vented, and if not, can it be? Uh, well, yes, uh, it is vented, and if it isn't, it can be. So I guess that answers both, John. Uh, yes, that wa it is vented outside of the coach, so wouldn't have it venting inside. Let's take a look at this rear shower uh, and full bath back here. It's just really well done. And I see that Rudy made a comment on the X3 not being a quad. I, I understand what you're saying, Rudy. I understand. A lot of people like that bus style of the X3, you know, and that's just it. Marathon builds both the X3 and the H3. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a preference, which you, whichever one you go with. Good storage underneath here, and that's real pretty. Turn off that so you can see. The shower's really pretty. This is a nice touch to have this installed here, and that's also a backlit. Um, so you can really see uh, <laughs> your mirror. I like that. Well, that's pretty much it. I wanted to uh, I, I wanted to do a quick show this morning and get 1241 out there for you. For those of you who haven't seen it, now you have. Um, let's head to the front of the coach and see if there's any more comments or questions. And this is a, this is a great shot because it really gives you the style of the coach when you look at it. The ceiling, everything about this coach. Nothing in this coach is going to look outdated 30 years from now. It's got very good style. It's got very good colors. You know, true elegance and class does not go out of style. And that is kind of the theme if you look at the 30 plus years of Marathon Coach. Another quick question. Yeah, talk. From Butch Pfeiffer, two bathrooms. Is that something fairly new? Um, you know, it depends on the coach. Uh, Butch is asking if two, two bathrooms. This has a bath and a half. Um, so in this configuration, uh, this, this coach 1241 has a bath and a half. And one more quick one from yeah. Brian, uh, Zinkum. Do ceiling lights change color? Absolutely. Uh, we could put on and change the lights. So basically what you do is you push a button to color select and it rotates through the colors. And then when you are ready and you prefer the color, like here, if it's blue that you prefer, you hit the uh, color select button again and it freezes on whatever color. You can also dim those lights. Uh, very customizable ceiling uh, in these coaches. Uh, from what color you put up there, you could have color or no color. You could have just uh, natural light and then you can also dim those lights up or down with the, just the hold of a button. And another thing that I don't want to miss is the, is the ceiling since we're mentioning it. Uh, this is a this is a beautiful ceiling. I, I mentioned already that 1241 is a coach that won't go out of style, and I think you will agree with me that this is one of the uh, best designs in a ceiling that we have. Two TVs, of course, and, and iPads to control everything. There are five TVs in this coach. Bedroom, two up here in the salon, one in the water closet, and of course down in the water, in the... Uh, entertainment bay outside. Well, that's about it, everybody. I hope everyone has a good week. If you're interested in this coach or anything else from Marathon, you know how to get a hold of me, malw at marathoncoach.com. Uh, for those of you who have been sending me emails about calendars, thank you so much. Um, I, I ran through the 20 that I had to send out so quickly, so uh, I hope uh, I've got them coming to you. And um, yeah, if you didn't get a calendar, you know, reach out. Uh, also, let you know, go to go to an event. Go to a marathon coach event. Uh, they will be at those events. 
whether it be Florida, Texas, or here at uh, the world headquarters in Oregon. Anyway, uh, thanks again. What was this, episode 94, Todd? 93, I 93. think. 93. I'm already a week ahead, you guys. Hey, it's December. Have a good week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, I don't know what we're doing next week, so if you have any ideas, let me know. We might check in on 1302, which is in paint right now. We might check on Coach 1299, uh, which is a couple of bays down to me uh, just starting production. Uh, okay. I think it's coffee time, everybody. Be yourself and do good things. I'm out of here. So for Todd and myself, take care.